Hello again. So it is Friday. <coughs> mm, it is Friday. Some date. There's definitely a date in May and Friday. So I figured I would do another short little video <clears throat> talking about what the hell yesterday's video was about. Because a lot of people are like, what the hell was yesterday vi what yesterday's video about? And the thing is, if you don't know what yesterday's video is about, you haven't been paying enough attention. You haven't been a real fan, a dedicated fan, a true fan, a real viewer to be proud of. So, uh, so I did a video yesterday, and I just want to talk about that for a couple of seconds um, for today. <laughs> so I did a little video yesterday. It's about six minutes long, and basically I was I was saying that Lewis Rossman is officially the the winner. He is the, the winner, the champion, the emperor of all things bit and bite, and I am but a garden slug compared to him. And you may be wondering what that was about, and basically that goes back to a whole storyline that's been going on for about a month now, where I was saying how jealous he was going to be when I was bouncing around the world doing all these amazing things, and basically for about the last month, <laughs> it has been one just what the fuck after another. <laughs> get horrible, like the worst heat rash I've ever had in my life, then I get cellulitis in the foot, then I get uh, food poisoning in Cambodia, and then I finally get back, I finally get back to the first world where I can be healthy and eat good food and all that kind of stuff, and then I come down with whatever the hell croup this is. And so basically yesterday I was thinking about what kind of video I could do, because I know I was not up for doing a full hour long video or an hour and a half long video or even a 30 minute video, and so the question was, is what kind of video can I do, what might be funny and interesting and curious, uh, some kind of product to put out for the day, and that's where I decided to grovel before the magnificence that is Lewis Rossman. And again, that goes into that whole backstory, whether or not you've paid attention to it, and when I talk about the multimeter probe in the head, it's because at one point he did a, uh, he did a very good video about me, where he used, his, he used a Burt doll as a voodoo doll and poked it with a multimeter prong, and then interjected in the clips of me getting sick and all of that kind of stuff. Now, the reason that I did that yesterday, the reason that I did that is a very important lesson. Again, whether or not you watch that video, whether or not you understand that video, whether or not you like that video is utterly irrelevant. Again, a lot of the lessons in life aren't the lessons you think you're learning. They're the, the lessons that are left unsaid. And the most important lesson that I want you folks to get through your, your guys' heads uh, with the video yesterday and even with the video today is how fundamentally important the grind is and that you can't stop grinding. Even when you feel like crap, even when you feel like garbage, even when you feel like you can barely speak and your head really hurts, the important thing is to go out and do some type of work, any type of work. Remember what you get paid for. What is it that you get paid for? What is it that makes you successful? And then do something, something that continues the ball forward, even when you feel like crap. So if you have the flu, or you have this, or you have that, or you have the other thing, you may not be able to do your normal job, but then that's the time to go and, uh, and wade through all those emails that you haven't gotten to. Or that's the time to go and read those contracts you really meant to read before you signed them. Or that's the time to go and contact your accountant or your lawyer and ask those stupid questions that, again, you should have asked a year ago, but for whatever reason, you know, <laughs> entrepreneurs just, eh. <laughs> if I don't see it, it won't sue me, right? Um, and that's the important thing that I was trying to get through your folks' heads, uh, or the, 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 the underlying lesson with yesterday, the real lesson is remember how you get paid, remember what your job is, and then even when you feel like garbage, even when you feel like crap, the important thing is to go and do something, right? So yesterday I did that little six minute video. Again, is it my best work ever? No. But here's one of the things I'll tell you. A lot of people may laugh at that video and find it stupid. But let me tell you about the stupidest video I ever did. True story, true story. So there was a time, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, um, when, uh, when I was first doing the Everyman IT videos, and I was pumping out all these videos, and so uh, I had this goal for myself, that basically this is when I still had my building, so I had a little, a small commercial uh, building in uh, downtown um, 
Baltimore City that I had had for my, my consulting company. And then when I shut down my consulting company, unfortunately, the investment that I thought the building was going to be, yeah, it didn't quite pan out that way. But anyways, I still had this building. And so what I would do as a goal is I would go down to the building. <coughs> and then once I got to the building, the only time I could leave is once I had finished and uploaded a video. Right. So it didn't, it didn't matter what video I put up. It didn't matter what I did. But it's like, I am going to go to that building and I will be there until I put up a finished product. So one day I go there, and I'm hungover. I'm hungover. This was back when I still drank. Well, I do miss some beer. Anyways, I was hungover. Just, yeah, natural thing. I was hungover. I was cranky. It was cold out. It was one of those cold, rainy, you know, just those cold, rainy, nasty days on the East Coast. And then I go into my building. My building's like 2,500, 3,000 square feet. And so the problem is, is how it was built out, uh, when you turn on the HVAC system, it heats up the entire area. There wasn't really any place where you could heat up like one room. Um, and so I really didn't want to turn the, the HVAC on a lot because it was rather expensive, especially if it was just me in there. So, you know, the, the heating in there was pretty cool. So I had a hangover, I was tired, it was cold, it was rainy, and I was just grumpy as hell, right? So I sat there. That was the thing, is I had this goal. I had this goal. I was like, you can leave, Eli. You can go home and you can curl up in bed and you can order a pizza and whatever else just as soon as you upload a video. So I sat there and I thought, what kind of video can I do today? What kind of video can I do today? Because I don't got a lot of brain power. I don't got a lot of brain power. I don't really want to have to worry about, you know, systems or whatever failing in the middle of my video shoot. What could I do? And then I thought about it and I was like, wow, you know what I could do is I could talk about hacking. I could talk about hacking. I could do a class on introduction to hacking. And so not, not actually show anybody scripts or any of that kind of stuff, but I could talk about what white hat hackers are and black hack hackers and all that. I can just, I can just write some notes and I can just talk about all this stuff. And that would be a rather easy video to do. And that is an easy video. I can write the notes for it. I can upload it. I can be out of here in three hours. And three out of three hours, this day will go down in the annals of what will be forgotten about. I won't even remember this day. Um, and I'll be so happy to run home. And so that's what I did. I wrote my notes out how I used to. I did the little video. I talked in front of the camera about hacking and script kitties and middle man in the middle or whatever else attacks. I then very quickly edited that all together, ran it through the encoder, uploaded, and I was gone. I was gone. That was a throwaway video. It was a crappy video. It was a crappy video just to get the goal done, just to get the goal accomplished, right? Because that's the important thing in life is just doing that goal. Well, here's a lesson. Here's a lesson. That fucking video, that stupid ass video that I did, um, that I figured would just I would just forget about, wouldn't it be anything of anything. That is literally my most popular video that I've ever done. Millions of views. Those millions of views have brought in quite a few thousand dollars. Again, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, and all that came from basically going into that, that store on a cold, rainy day with a hangover and a headache and everything else and just thinking, what can I do today to accomplish my goal and get it done? And that, my friends, is honestly a true story. So that's why, again, I, I, I talk a lot about it's the whole concept of the grind. Everybody thinks it's about the idea. Everything is things about this and that and the other thing. And it's really not. It's about day in, day out, what are you doing to push the ball forward, right? In order to be successful with whatever you're going to do, you got to push the ball forward at least a little bit. You know, sometimes you get it 10 yards down the field. You know, there are good days when you just run for it, right? You just get a touchdown. And there's other days you can just push it like three inches forward. But you know, three inches forward is still three inches forward. And that's why so many people are failures, because they figure... What's the point of three inches? Three inches isn't worth it. Like I say, I, I get people like uh, on my other channels who will ask me, you know, is it, worth, is it worth it to take a minimum wage job? And I always say, what's your options? If one job's willing to pay you 60 grand a year and the other one's willing to pay you minimum wage, take the one that's 60 grand a year. On the other hand, if you're only, if you're only option, it's not an option. <laughs> It's not an option. If you only got one, it's not an option. It's the only one willing to pay you is eight bucks an hour. Because you take that, because eight bucks an hour is eight dollars more than zero. You know what I'm saying? 
But a lot of people don't get that. They're like, oh, I will not. If I can't do something great, if I can't do something wonderful, I'm not going to do it at all. And you're going to be saying that for the next 70 years if you sit on your ass and not do a damn thing. And folks like me will be trotting along having a gay old time. Be like, oh, oh, you people. It's like, yeah, because when I was sick and felt like crap, I still did something that day. Again, I'm not saying it's my best work. I'm not saying it's my greatest work. I'm not saying it's something I'm even going to be proud of. But every day you do a little bit more. So like today, so I'm doing this little video, even though I still feel like crap. And I also went to REI, right? Because it's amazing to think about, right? My wife and I are going to be taking off in a... About two weeks now, about two weeks, like January, June, or not January, June 5th or 6th will be taking off. So that's only about two weeks away. So that means we got to start prepping for it. So what, basically the, what we decided is we'll go for a month, come back for a while, and then go out for another month and a half. So we're going to go to like the, the Laurel Highlands in uh, Pennsylvania, and then we're going to go down to like the Shenandoah area in Virginia, Blue Ridge Parkway area somewhere in there um, and then we're gonna go down to the Great Smoky Mountains uh, and then from there we're either gonna go over to like Charleston or Hilton Head or something like that and come back but basically about a month five weeks right and so that's only about two weeks away and so again there's there's things to do there's things to plan there's things to buy so today even though I feel like crap not only am I talking to the camera for a few minutes but I also went to REI because again if we're gonna be talking about these cool places we're going we actually need to figure out where the hell we're going so I got a hiking book on the Shenandoah National Park and I got a hiking book for Pennsylvania, and I got a hiking book for the Blue Ridge Parkway. Now again, is this impressive? Is this amazing? Is it like, wow, Eli, this will go down in the annals of history of one of the most productive days you ever had? No, it won't. Obviously it won't. But here's the deal. It takes time to drive to REI. It takes time to buy books, right? So I mean, you know, Took me like half an hour, 45 minutes to drive over there. Then I had to look through the books. Then I kind of come back. So it took like two hours, right? So again, I talk in the camera and upload this. This is maybe half an hour work. And I go and I buy these books. And that's, you know, two hours with commute and all that. But here's the thing. That's still two and a half hours of work that's been accomplished. So now I don't have to do those in the future, right? So, so the rest of the two weeks between here and when we leave, I can focus on making sure the, art, the, uh, the travel trailer won't fall apart and, you know, getting reservations and this and that and the other thing. The idea, though, is like every day, every day you should be grinding. Every day you should be working. Every day you should be pushing that ball just a little bit further forward. Even if you feel like you're an idiot. Even if you feel like you're stupid. Because, again, like so many of those, so many of those things that you do can actually be very pivotal. Yeah, and like I say, that hacking video from way back when. I mean, millions of views, which means I probably got a crap ton of subscribers off of it. And I made a lot of money off of it, even though I didn't want to be there that day. I could have curled. I could. I could have got into that store, like my my old my building. I could have walked in. I could have felt the cold and rain, and I could have walked home. I could have gone home. And you know what? Most people would have said, "I completely understand why you go home." You know that that's completely reasonable. But then, but then that work wouldn't have been done, right? <coughs> And again, there's, there's something very special also about like working through pain, where people also see that. So you guys can see me like gagging and coughing right now. And then you know, hey, you know, that's real. Again, that's one thing, like I say, I like doing these videos, um, like these daily videos, is because you can see the full process. You can see everything. Again, that's where I feel so... Uh, with Eli the Computer Guy and Eli Computer Guy Live videos, that's the problem, is I feel with those videos, it's too... It's too framed. It's too framed. Like everything that you see is just in that, you know, it's 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 what you're supposed to see type of deal. It's 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 a scene. It's choreography. It's not necessarily a script, but it's along those lines. And that's why I like with doing these videos is you see the you see all of it. So you can see, you see how excited I was and how amazing and happy I was, and then you can see the cellulitis and you can see the food poison. You can see me sick now, but then you can also hear how I'm still doing work, and how I'm still planning for the next trip, right? Yeah, I'm croupy. Yeah, I'm sick. Yeah, I feel like absolute garbage. It doesn't mean you give up. It doesn't mean you go home. It just means you feel like garbage right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But again, that's what so many people do. Like, oh, oh, you know, I went to Thailand. I went to Thailand and I got sick. I'm just, I'm not, just not built for travel. Eh, it's not that you're not built for travel. It's just you got sick in Thailand. 
What did I say? I got sick horribly in India. I had my head half beat in last time I was in Thailand. Didn't do so well this time I was in Thailand. Does that mean I'm going to stop? Hell no. Hell no. I'm going to keep going. Right? It's just because crap happens to you. Eh, fuck it. Crap happens to you everywhere. I mean, that's one of the things I say with cellulitis. I was talking to somebody about that. And somebody was saying like their friend got it. Like totally mangled their ass up. Like mangled their ass up. Like say, that shit makes you vomit. Oh, it's some horrible stuff. And they got that in like Michigan. <laughs> Right. So again, there is this idea, there is this idea, like, oh, I'm going to be safe wherever. And it's like, yeah, the world isn't safe. Life is not safe. There's the only thing that I know, the only thing that I know in the world to be true, the only thing I know in the world to be true, is none of us get out of this alive. None of us get out of this alive. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's the thought for the day. Never stop. Just do a little bit. Just do a little bit. You may feel like crap, like I say. Respond to emails. Contact account. <laughs> oh, Christ. <coughs> do whatever you need to do. So, as I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better than yesterday. So, I took my NyQuil last night. Fell asleep at about midnight. That was a good thing. Fell asleep about midnight. Woke up at about 9.30. So, I'm getting a little closer to schedule. A little closer to schedule. That's the whole thing with jet lag. Like... I really feel bad, especially with my wife and all that. Like, when I woke up at, like, a, like you know, when I'm waking up at, like, 1.30 or 12.30, um, that kind of, like, really screws with your schedule, and that really sucks. But now, like, today I woke up at 9.30, and yesterday I woke up at 8.30. Obviously, that is later than I would normally sleep when I'm home, but it's not so horrible. It's not so horrible. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're getting ready for the day at, like, 10.00, you do feel a little bit lazy, but it's not that big a deal. So, so I woke up at 9.30 today, started to putter around at about 10, so I feel good with that. And like I said, I've got this croup right now. And it's weird. Like I said, I originally thought it was allergies. I really thought it was allergies because if you look, I mean, you probably can't see with the camera. I don't know. Can you see with the camera? If you look at that, you can see all the scuzz on top of the pond. Um, that's all pollen. So I was really thinking at first that this is really just, just allergies. But uh, but my nose, my nose is completely clear, and I don't sneeze at all, and my eyes don't burn. It's really, it's just this headache and this congestion in the throat. So I don't know, maybe it's some weird-ass funky thing allergy. Who the hell knows? <laughs> Who the hell knows? It's a Lewis, it's a Lewis disease. <laughs> Lewis Rossman syndrome. <laughs> That's what it is. But anyways. So, uh, so yeah, so hopefully I'll take some NyQuil uh, tonight. Um, and then should be, I, th I think I'm going to feel pretty good tomorrow. I think I'm going to get back on my feet tomorrow. Though it is like kind of ironic because tomorrow it's like a hundred percent chance of rain all day. So there you go. That's my life as it goes now. But we'll keep getting everything prepared and all that. So yeah. So that's about all I have to say today. Look at this. Even a short video of mine is still like 18 minutes long. See, I just can't do short videos. Even when I feel sick and crap. Some if somebody's so funny, like all these people are like, oh, I'll do short videos. I'm like, eh. Even when I'm sick and I feel like crap, even when I feel like crap, I still can't do a video like sub 20 minutes long. It's just not my style. It's just not my style. <sighs> yeah, I think that's about all there is to it. So uh, I will see you guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we'll see you tomorrow. We may see you tomorrow since it's rainy. That's the only thing like with my scheduling thing. Like, here's the thing, that, that's with the grind, is you don't stop the grind when you're in pain or you're hurt. You still do something, right? Um, but it is okay not to work when you don't really feel like it. So, that sounds a little weird, doesn't it? It's kind of like the difference between deciding not to work and just being whiny about not working. Like, there's a difference between deciding not to work and giving up. You don't want to give up. If you kind of look at it and you're just like, I don't really have anything to say today, that's a different story. If you look at it and you go, eh, I'm cranky, nah, that's when you should do some work. But anyways, I may or may not see you folks tomorrow. I do have to figure out with this whole vlogging thing and see what my wife thinks about like how often I should vlog. It's like, should this be a daily vlog? Like daily, like seven days a week? Should it be like a five day a week vlog? I don't know. That's one thing I haven't really thought about. Like we talk about like workflows, you know, workflows and what's the product that you're putting out. So I know the product, I do the vlog, and I also do those little scenery videos every once in a while. But one of the things I haven't really thought about is like what is the planned schedule? 
Is it every day? Should it be every day? I don't know. Do not know. <laughs> and that may be more brain power than I have for today. <laughs> and that's the type of thing you look at and go, well, that's a very good question. And I may not have brain power to figure that out today. So, that's my next thought. That's the next thought, and I'll try to figure out. But anyways, so let me go give you a nice little video picture of the, uh, of the lily over there. You see the lily? Let's see here. Can I zoom in on the lily for you? It's a very nice lily. Oh, look at that. See? I love having a pond. Oops, nope. Where is it? There you go. Come on, focus. Damn it. Why does it not focus? Yeah, this is why you don't try to do, like, cinematography while you're sick. It doesn't really work out how you think. Anyways, so we'll just do a, a nice little video shot of the mermaid. There we go. Nice little video shot of the mermaid. And with that, I shall talk with you folks. I don't know. Whenever the hell I do the next video. <laughs>